Hello everyone and welcome back to another edition of Dime Box Discoveries. It is time for really the one of the most popular videos I do and that is the penny boxes. I hit up the penny box at the Moeller Show in Cincinnati, Ohio. I think there were 680 of them here. So we're going to move through them as quickly as we can, but 680 out of the penny box and technically with discounts they were slightly less than a penny a piece, which is fantastic for the cheapness in my heart and what I enjoy doing. So let's get started right away to show you what you can find for a penny these days. And let's start with some vintage. How about 1970 tops, pitching leaders. You've got McLean on there, Mel Stoudemire, Jim Perry. It looks great, but serious um, uh, card loss, you know, on the back there. But still really cool. Um, Al Oliver, the guy could really swing it. Joe Necro. How about Vita Blue out of the uh, yep, 82 tops? Bobby Bonds. Another Bobby Bonds there. Jack Clark looking uh, good. That's a sharp one, low off cut, but sharp corners. And then you got a Pete Lecoq in there, a Bobby Bonds again. And then there's a Dick Pohl, giggity. Uh, these are all 78s here. Goose Gossage, a Hall of Famer. Burt Blythe-Levin is a Hall of Famer. I mean, jacked up on the eye, you can see that, but for a penny, it's okay. Dave Rader. Um, time on the soil, horribly off cut, but still interesting. And then some teams here with the Cardinals. The Orioles, the Astros, <clears throat> the Brewers, and the White Sox, and now a Bob Boone. Bernie Carbo, man, that thing's badly cut. Speaking of badly cut, you can even see it down the side here. Uh, Jim Hughes, and then some strikeout leaders. There's a Gaylord Perry who actually passed away today on the date of this video. I'm shooting this. Burt Blylevin, Frank Tana, and then you've got a Tom Seaver in there for a penny. and see a horribly creased, but still cool. Charlie Huff, uh, who knew he had a beer in uh, this uh, card, but I guess he did. At least he does now. And Philippe Alou from 74, Billy Martin from 74, and a Don Baylor. So, <clears throat> some vintage. How about some mid-80s, late-80s kind of stuff with some, all these are tops. Really, Ricky Henderson, that's really cool, man. Dwight Gooden for a penny, Cecil Cooper, Fernando Valenzuela, Ken Griffey Sr., Billy Martin, Joe Necro, um, Bobby Bonilla, this is the rookie from the traded set. Bobby Bonilla, rookie for a penny. Bip Roberts, I believe that's a rookie for a penny. And Lou Pinella out of the traded. Um, then you've got uh, 88 tops with Tony Gwynn, Dwight Gooden, Cecil Cooper. There are a whole bunch of Tony Gwynns in the pennies. Um, 87 tops with Kevin Mitchell. There's a Reggie Jackson in there. Tim Wallach, that's the OP Chief from 84. Ron Guidry from 84. Uh, there's some Todd Helton, Todd Helton. There's another Kirby Puckett. Another Kirby Puckett. Like I said, a whole bunch of different Puckets. You'll see them throughout. Tom Glavin, John Smoltz, Kinseko from 92. 92 tops gold, not the winners, the actual straight-up tops gold ones. Mike Devereaux, um, Jeff Treadway, Danny Tartable, and then 93 tops gold with Howard Johnson. A couple of Sparky Andersons. And then Steve Carlton, that's the top straight in the regular tops. Are these both Tiger Stadium, by the way? Is that interesting in the background? I swear they're both Tiger Stadium, right? Are they? Someone tell me. I think they're both Tiger Stadium. Anyway, found that interesting. There's a Don Sutton, a Robin Young, a couple Hall of Famers there, and a Vlad Guerrero, another Hall of Famer. So a lot of Hall of Famers in the penny box. Some more junk wax. If you love junk wax, and if you're watching this, you probably do. How about a whole bunch of junk wax from the 80s, early 90s for the penny? There's another Puckett. There's another pocket. Why are these guys always shirtless in the Dream Team cards back in the day? Seriously, what was up with that? Santiago, that's actually a really cool Benny Benito Santiago card. Uh, Henderson, shirtless. Boggs, there's another pocket. Gwyn, pocket. A lot of pockets, a lot of Gwyns in this thing, man. Boggs, Randy Johnson. Once again, all these guys, penny apiece, Hall of Famers. Dan Pasquale just looks really cool, doesn't he? I mean, it just looks cool. Another Randy Johnson. Brett. Ryan, Strawberry, Puckett, Van Poppel. Man, remember in the day when this card was everything? Randy Johnson, 91 Stadium Club. Ivan Pudge Rodriguez, Earl Hershiser. Shout out to my guy up there in uh, loving his Bowling Green Falcons. There's Earl Hershiser. Um, here's some mid to late 80s Fleer, Puckett, and Bo Jackson. Pudge again, Robin. Yeah, all these Hall of Famers, man. In there for a penny. Jose Rios, this is 86 Fleer. Toys R Us, Benito Santiago, Rookies, just looks cool. Uh, Leaf, Cecil Cooper, and Tony Fernandez. Benny Santiago, man, Benito for a rated rookie for a penny. Steve Garvey for a penny. Jeff Reardon, 
Phil Necro, Carlton Fisk, 81 Donruss, Gidry, Bill the Spaceman Lee, Louis Tiant, Jeff Reardon, Burt Blylove, and another Hall of Famer. Great cat, by the way. I think it was loaded with Hall of Famers for Penny. Sandy Alomar from the Rookies. These are all from the Rookies. Todd Zeal, Kevin Seitzer. There's an Eddie Murray. Go back to an Eddie Murray. This thing is in not great shape, but still an Eddie Murray. 81 Fleer for a Penny. There's a George Bell. That's a rookie card, actually. 82 Fleer. George Bell rookie card. Dion in the Bowman. Frank Thomas in the Art card. Todd, Henley, uh, Todd Hunley in the uh, Leaf Gold Star Rookies. Uh, uh, Tom Glavin with the post Siri. You know, I love my um, food stuff ones. 88 Flair, Boggs, Puckett, and, or sorry, Gwen and Reigns. There's Schmidt and Carter. I just found this checklist as a gold checklist to be kind of cool. I don't even know why. I just picked it up. Uh, pair of Puckets. Pair of Gwens. Told you a lot of Puckets and Gwens, man. Wade Boggs, a pair of those. A whole bunch of Wade Boggs in here, too. And Jeff Bagwell. Some Bob Boons in here. Ozzie Smith, 88 Donruss. It's another Gwen. Andrew Jones and the Rookies. There's that same card again. There's Jim Rice and Fleer. Larry Walker, Larry Walker. David Wright. And uh, Tony Gwynn in the Chrome. So the ton of Larry Walkers, too. I swear you could have started a Larry Walker collection out of the penny bin. Um, if you've seen my videos before, you know I clicked all the tops, also rookie cards. So to find this card was fantastic. So that's really cool. A pair of Larry Walkers. Uh, Nick Markakis. And then a couple of those ones. I'm working on getting a whole bunch of Cardinals for a project I'm working on. And in doing so, I was able to actually pick up some Ted Simmons 78 tops for a penny a piece. Really nice. Gary Templeton, Willie McGee, and these are all 86. There's Harper, Akindo, Mike Heath, Tim Conroy. There's a Wainwright. So you see a whole bunch of different. There's Dave Von Owen, who I personally collect. Terry Kennedy, 81 Donruss. Another Terry Pendleton and a John Denny. If you know, I'm working on the Oakland A's team set. So... This was actually great. Able to pick up a Dick Williams from, I think, 73. A Sal Bando in 73. You can see horrible creasing, but still cool for a penny. Larry Haney, Jim Holt, Paul Limbaugh. And then you see there's a Gene Tennis, an Oakland A's um, team card. So you can take a look and see a whole bunch of different Oakland A's. I'm going to check and see. I didn't even bother to look and see if I need them for my team sets. For a penny, I just decided to grab them all and then figure it out when I get home. So that's the easiest thing to do. So sitting there taking up all that time to worry about a penny. So hopefully some guys I need for my Oakland A's team sets. A whole bunch of tops all-star rookies. There is Fisk and Gooden and Saberhagen. You see a whole bunch from here. I just picked them up as I went. There's 87. There's Canseco from 91. And then the all-stars, Bo Jackson. Those are those uh, glossy all-stars. Will Clark, Dale Strawberry, and Gary Carter. If you watched before, you know I live in Cincinnati. Obviously, since I was at the Mueller show. So I'll pick up a bunch of reds when I can. A whole bunch of vintage reds. George Foster. Another Foster. Parker. Teresen. Geronimo. Armbrister. There's another Foster. Some more Fosters. Some more Fosters. Clay Kirby. It's Mario Soto, 85. That's really cool. Dan Dreesen from 83. Fleer. Mario Soto from 86 tops. So a couple of Jeff Treadway rookies. Diaz, John Franco. You know what? I'm not going to bore with all these. So there's an Eric Davis, 90s Donruss. Um, you can see a whole bunch of different reds from a whole bunch of different years. Even a Joey Votto in there in the penny. Um, but you can see a whole bunch of different stuff, man, from the reds. So we will move on. There's that Pete Rose at 86 tops, I think it's in. Yeah, I believe so. So, and um, yeah. So you go Eric Davis and Daryl Strawberry which is really cool. So, a whole bunch of reds picked up, which was nice. Like I said, 680 of these, penny a piece, technically slightly less. Um, I don't even remember what's all in this one, but how about the score all-stars? King Griffey Jr. for a penny. Um, you can't beat that. Literally, it'd be physically impossible unless they hand it to you and just gave it to you. Sandberg, Bonds, Canseco, Canseco, Clemens. There's that Bo Jackson Ultra Pro, which is really cool. This one is really cool. This is um, McGraw from... Oh, I looked this up before I can't remember exactly, but you get the picture. Steve Carlton, that's the Pacific. Um, Adam Dunn in the Chrome. Uh, baseball Famous Feats. I always thought these were neat. These are the sticker cards on the back. 
but they've got some cool famous feats on the front. Ted Williams from Run Legends in bad shape, but that's okay. Some of the Fleer stickers. There's Babe Ruth, strawberry in the sticker. It's an OPG, actually, that's a really cool thing too. It's an OPG sticker from uh, 1988 with Sandberg and Strawberry. I don't know who that guy is. How about an Ozzy Canseco minor league card? And then some Mother's Cookies in there for a penny. I mean, no one you would care about Dave Valley, Bob Stoddard, and Pat Putnam, but Mother's Cookies cards are really cool, very collectible, very pleased. As an A's guy, though, I really wanted the A's Mother's Cookies, but still thought they were cool. Some minor league guys of Derek Lee. David Bell, Cincinnati guy, Brian Giles, Brian Giles, Dimitri Young, Cliff Floyd, Lieberthal, Rondell White, Aaron Seeley, Danny Nagel. So a lot of guys have made the major leagues while they're in the minors. This is really weird. I don't even know what, I still can't figure out exactly what this is, but I guess you could vote for the Pro Bowl in this Topps card. Must have been inserted into Topps, you know, one of those throwaway cards. So I just thought that was really cool. I picked it up for a penny. There's Al Michael, Monday Night Football, just kind of neat. And a couple of Jeff Gordons in there for a penny. Mark Martin. This came out of the, um, yeah, racing champions, like the uh, matchbox type of cars. This was the card that, that's in there inserted. So that is really cool. It's sort of like a starting line figure card, which I collect all those. So that's sort of the same thing. That's really cool. And how about some Chevrolet logos? Um, you know, some Corvette, I should say, logos. Uh, Bill Clinton and a Nick Faldo. Those are just random ones. Okay. Keep on moving here through you. Randy Johnson, the Fleer Ultra. Joe Maurer in the, is that 02? No, sorry, 07 tops. Another Joe Maurer, opening day. Paul Molitor in the studio. Josh Reddick in that, um, yeah, 1991 style, but out of 2016 tops. Um, Brandon Webb and a little bit something different. More Larry Walkers. Like I said, there were a bunch of those. Ivan Rodriguez, Bagwell. Todd Frazier from the Home Run Derby, Paul Goldschmidt, just won the MVP, and Wally Joyner in the 86 uh, Tops, uh, you know, design, but more recent card. Um, once again, if you've seen them before, you know that I collect all these guys who went to high school in Cincinnati and working on a project with that. So there's a whole bunch of Buddy Bells. That's the Tops traded one there in the 88. So there's Buddy Bells, Ron Oster from Cincinnati, Bill Doran from Cincinnati, David Justice from Cincinnati, so a whole bunch of his. He's always good to find because they're not hard to find. Josh Harrison from Princeton High School. Mark Lewis from Hamilton High School. Uh, Pat Tabler from McNick. And Jim Leritz. Oh, and Kent Tacolvi. Can't forget Kent Tacolvi. A couple of those in the back. Check out the specs. So, from Fairfield, but went to school in Hamilton. So, let's see what we got back here. Um, some basketball cards. I don't even know what these are. Star 94. They just seem a little bit interesting. So Walt Frazier, Hardaway, Mullen, McHale, Parrish, Leitner. And then some of these. I love these upper decks. I opened up a full box as a kid. I swear I did. I think I did 92, 93 upper deck. These are beautiful, beautiful cards. I just love the way they look. Drexler, Parrish, McHale, and Hardaway. So a bunch of Hall of Famers there. All of them, once again, for a penny. I keep reiterating that because it's hard to believe you can pick up Hall of Famers for a penny. How about some football? This is more new stuff. Marshall Falk, Champ Bailey, there's Richard Dent, there's Refrigerator Perry, that's um, Steve Young, Warwick Dunn, Eddie George, Phil Sims, Steve Young again. I just can't believe you pick up these guys for a penny. Troy Aikman in the Pro Set Platinum. Beautiful card, man. Um, Jimmy Johnson, Tim Tebow, Mark Clayton, Doug Flutie, and then a whole bunch of the scores, man. You can look through real quick and see those are always cool, by the way. I love when you see like the Super Bowl ones and the championship game ones. Tell the stories, just kind of cool. But a whole bunch of, um, so I'm presuming that's Steve Atwater rookie. I kind of need to check that. Broderick Thomas rookie should be. Bruce Smith, you see, I mean, just a whole bunch of these scores, man. So Bengals I picked up because of Cincinnati and the other guys I picked up mostly, James Wilder's cool, Greg Bell's cool. Um, just because guys I thought they were cool. There's a Steve Largent. A couple Mike Evans in there, work done. Mike Allstott. And John Lynch, Brad, jo Brad Johnson. As a Bucks fan, I pick up some of the Bucks guys when I can. And Dante Culpepper, I like to collect a couple of his. Um, Jeff Brome, it just looks kind of cool. And Isaiah Pete, he's from UC, the University of Cincinnati. So a friend of mine collects UC guys, so I'll be getting that. How about some vintage football? How about a Kenny Anderson? 
couple Kenny Andersons for a penny a piece. Um, not in the best of shape by any means, but still really cool. Terry Metcalf, is that 74? 75. So there's a Jaworski. There's Perry, Rocky Blyer, Gerald Riggs, and then a whole bunch of teams. And how about a Doug Williams looking sharp in the uh, creamsicle throwback Buccaneers? Of course, I wouldn't throw back then. They were just the uniforms. Still looked awesome. Curtis Dickey, Pat Hayden, Ahmad Rashad, some teams there. Another Kenny Anderson. Put that one up here. Uh, Cowboys teams. This is a Tommy Kramer rookie card. So that's just kind of cool. Another Ahmad Rashad. David Whitehurst, Bill Kenny, and then a whole bunch of the teams from 85, or several of them, and then a bunch of Bengals. Like I said, I collect the Bengals guys because um, I can use those for trade bait. Some more teams, Norm Johnson, some more teams, some more Bengals. And then these are the um, uh, reprint ones, Y.A. Tittle, and a couple of Len Dawson's. Those are cool. And then some, how about World League teams? I just picked up some of the World League guys. There's Chris Moore. He would punt me in a foul. Some World League guys and Chan Gailey. Four of those. I wasn't really paying attention. I saw the World League and just grabbed them all. I didn't realize that there were duplicates of, of each one. But that's okay. That's okay. Um, Carson Palmer. 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 Crum Rye. Mike Allstock from Purdue. Cameron Sutton from Tennessee. Um, Lane Thomas. And then, so these are a lot of different college guys. Zach Dysart from Miami University. Go Red Hawks. Um, there's Central Michigan guy. Yeah. Dan with Fever. There's a guy from OU. And a guy from the Flashes of Kent State. So a lot of Mac guys in there. I was kind of surprised. And Notre Dame with Clawson, Waters, OSU with Beanie Wells, and Sam Bradford. So some good college guys there. And Carson Palmer, for some reason, he ended up in those mix. I don't know what that is. A um, bunch of hockey. I was actually happy to pick up a bunch of hockey. This one's really cool. This one actually books for a few bucks. This is a Pavel Bure and some kind of fan drawing card of him. I'm going to fly through these because the video is getting a little bit long, so you can kind of take a look and see. But, um, you know, take a look and see. Peter Stastny and Jeremy Roenick and the Team USA jerseys. You know I love my Team USA. You don't see a lot of Team USA hockey, so that's really cool. Mike Madonna is awesome. Mark Messier. There were a fair amount of Mark Messiers in here. So, very happy there's a Messier to pick up a lot of Mark Messiers. Um, Rob Blake, another Bowling Green Falcon. I'll check my guy and see if he collects uh, Rob Blake's also being a Bowling Green guy. And then as a uh, Nordiques fan slash Avalanche fan, I pick up a lot of the guys on the Penny Bennett for the Nordiques. So there's a Jeremy Roenick, which is really cool. Um, Ed Belfour, a whole bunch of Ed Belfours too, which was really cool. There's Ray Bork, a lot of Ray Borks. There's Bork, there's Messier, there's Patrick Waugh, Roenick. I mean, you can see a lot of stars, man. And a couple more Messiers there. Jamie Roenick there. That's the 91 Top Stadium Club. So that's uh, Lemieux, I believe. Ed Belfour, Ray Whitney. Roman Hammerlick was in there. So a whole bunch of stars and Hall of Famers. There's Eric Lindros in there for a penny piece. Joe Sackick, which is awesome. Another Mark Messier. Uh, Peter Forsberg and Jamie Roenick. So a lot of stars in there for a penny a piece. Um, it's kind of quite surprising. That was more new stuff. Here's a little more vintage. Say vintage, more like, you know, Late 80s tops. Messier, Yard Curry, more Messier, Robitaille, Bork, Statsny, um, Nordiques guys again that I collect. Um, Adam Oates, another team one. Yeah, some more Nordiques. Brother Kamensky, Team USA Hockey again. There you go. They look good, don't they? I mean, those uniforms just look good. They just pop. The red, white, and blue just pops. I'm just, I'm just going to say it. Messier there, um, you know, repping Team Canada. Patrick Wall from Pro Set. Um, Messier again. Brett Hall. Messier. So all these for a penny, man. I just, penny a piece, couldn't believe it. Now, as a wrap up, I'm not going to dig through all these, but I'm going to tell you. So sometimes life happens and you get really lucky. I've been working on completing this 91 92 Tops hockey set for a long, long time, okay? Um, and because I, I, I had a box and when I opened it, cracked it, and the Correlation, correlation wasn't very good. So I was short by about 25 cards still. Going through the penny boxes, I was able to find every single one of the 25 of the pennies that I needed to finish the set. You talk about a miracle of miracles. I literally found every single card that I needed, all 25 of them, to finish the set. Unfreaking believable in a penny box. 
what I would have probably had to pay 20 cents a card for plus shipping if I bought online, I was able to finish for 25 cents. Um, you talk about getting excited. I mean, I don't, the guy next to me seemed confused why I was so excited to be pulling out uh, commons like this guy from uh, a 91, 92 tops hockey set, but I explained him that I was finishing up the set and he seemed to think that was cool too. So anyway, that is what I found in the penny bin. Um, like I said, he found there's just a wide range of stuff. Not a lot of basketball though. That was a strange thing. Not a lot of basketball, but vintage dating back to the 70s, uh, 1970 in fact. Some Hall of Famers mixed throughout. Um, modern, vintage, uh, junk wax, basketball, football, baseball, hockey, everything across the board. A lot of really cool stuff. It was a good show. I've got the next video coming up for you here in a little while um, down the road. That's going to be the nickels and dimes I got from the same exact show. There are a bunch of those as well, but I thought I'd show off the penny studio and show you what I could find or what I did find at the Moeller Show. If you see that anything there that you thought was very interesting, please let me know. I'm happy to send stuff out. i got a guy in here I trade with all the time. He sends me some messages and says, I saw that card, that card, that card. I need that one. I want that one. And we just trade them out, man. Have a little bit of fun and uh, grow the hobby. So reach out, comment with what you like, what you found interesting. Hopefully everyone's having a great evening, and I will talk to you all later. See ya.